Hello everyone, uh, I am Savan from Informatica Support and uh, I, I am presenting the video KB on how to debug the integration issues between IDD and ActiveOS. So agenda for uh, today's video KB is uh, I will give you a brief introduction on what I am going to speak about and on, on that basis uh, what are the configuration settings which needs to be done in ActiveOS and what are the configuration settings needs to be in IDD and Hub and I will give you a small demo on what configuration needs to be checked. Coming to the introduction part, uh, uh, we have seen many issues, uh, many cases where uh, the tasks are not getting uh, generated uh, either in ActiveOS or e even though they are present in ActiveOS, it is not visible in IDD. So this is a very common issue which can happen for multiple reasons. Uh, so for that reason this video KB speaks about the various configuration which needs to be checked in both ActiveOS side and IDD uh, to resolve these issues. So the common issues are like you know uh, in case if IDD and ActiveOS integration is there uh, either the IDD ta manual task is not getting generated or if that those tasks are there but it is not visible in IDD. So for this there are for certain parameters which needs to be checked which are available in configuration guide but uh, there are few things which needs to be uh, looked into in case of any issues with respect to the IDD task using ActiveOS. So configuration settings in ActiveOS so we have multiple uh, multiple uh, things which needs to be checked in ActiveOS uh, so which we will tell in uh, our demo on what configuration settings which we need to see in the ActiveOS console. There are few settings which needs to be checked in IDD and Hub as well, which also we will cover in our demo. Uh, so both of these configuration settings needs to be there in order for the integration between ActiveOS and IDD to work properly and also the task needs to be visible only after this configuration is in place. So now uh, we will uh, focus on our demo on what configuration needs to be checked. So first I will speak about uh, the ActiveOS configuration what needs to be checked from the active boss side so once you have installed active boss along with uh, mdm hub uh, the first thing which you need to check is to see whether the service definitions are there or not so this is very important uh, so in case if you're using the business entity workflow adapter the be uh, must task service definition has to be there in case if this task in, in case if this uh, service definitions are not there, IDD will not allow you to create a task and it will throw an error. So this is this is one of the common issues which we have seen. So first thing uh, always to check in active was the service definitions whether they are available or not. Now coming to other uh, settings which needs to be there. So one of the important settings which we have is the URN mappings. So this will get created by default when you run the post install but there may be scenarios when this particular uh, URN mapping is missing because post install might have failed or some other reason. So what you have to check is this is this two important parameters. So in case if you are using BE workflow adapter you have to make sure that the URN mapping is present and it has the correct local host and the port and uh, other parameters are perfectly same. In case if you are using the SA adapter you have to make sure that the URN mapping is there. So URN mapping is very important because this is the place which provides the integration between IDD and uh, uh, ActiveOS. The other important thing to check is the identity services. So from uh, MDM 10.1 onwards, we don't have to specify any provider type. By default, it is MDM. But the identity service test has to pass, which is important for the integration. So what you have to do is you have to test for the user uh, in my case I will check for admin because that is one of the user which is having any role. So you can test for any user which is having a specific role and then you have to click on test settings. So this test has to pass in order to make this identity service work properly. In case if this test is not passing which means the identity service is, uh, uh, is not proper and this will lead to the IDD task getting missed in IDD. One more important thing uh, which you have to see is uh, <coughs> is the task who exactly can see the task because we have certain scenarios where the task is available but in IDD we are not able to see it. 
so let's let me open how to see uh, which who who is the person who is able to see the task so if you see here uh, right now it is waiting on this uh, human task of final review and if you see i have this task is assigned to a user called admin so the user the admin user can see this task so this is the way where you can figure out who is the user it can be either user it can be group so you can have a group called data steward uh, in in that data steward group all the users which is having the privilege will be able to see the task so this is one of the important things to check in case if the tidy task is not available and one more important thing is your server status has to be running there are certain scenarios when when you restart the server the active os uh, server uh, doesn't come back and you know we will see the issues with respect to idd task not visible and other stuff so you have to make sure that the your uh, active os uh, server is in running state so these are the uh, important configuration and the key configuration which needs to be checked with respect to active os now Uh, let me show what configuration checks which needs to be done in IDD Hub and uh, which needs to be checked in MDM Hub and IDD. So the most important or the first check which needs to be done from MDM Hub side is the test whether the workflow is is uh, integrated properly between uh, MDM Hub and uh, ActiveOS or not. So you have to go to the workflow manager and you have to go to the workflow engine right now my integration is based on b active was and you have to give uh, this particular username password uh, which you have created during the post install and the installation so you have to this has to pass the test has to pass so right now if i click on test connection this workflow connection is succeeding until unless this connection is succeeding the integration will not work properly so this is one of the important test which needs to be done the second thing which is important is which workflow engine your ors is mapped to so right now i have a mdm sample ors which is mapped to be active os so you have to make sure that this is pointing to the correct workflow engine in order for integration to work now coming to the other important part uh, the other important part is roles so we have certain scenarios uh, where uh do you know the tasks are available in active os but it is not visible in idd so what you have to make sure is you have given the correct permission here in the roles part so i have gone under the idd application the, under the custom resources and if you see i have given the task type privilege all the task type privilege so you can control it in in case if you want the user to see only the task and whatever per, uh, uh, permission you want to provide this is one other thing which needs to be checked from mdm hub and after doing all this test uh, in case if we have made some changes make sure that you are validating the repository this is another important thing which needs to be done now coming to the idd configuration the what what things which we need to make sure is there in idd config so this is my idd config page so if i log in uh, important things which needs to be checked is um, so let's suppose person is my subject area where the task has been created so if i see here if i go to the added subject area the important thing which needs to be checked is the task assignment so if you see here uh, this has to be proper uh, so let's suppose uh, the final review uh, tasks are being built and the use, the Uh, the users which is having a super user permission can will be able to see it so you have to make sure that you have given the correct privilege here and the users which belongs to a particular role can see the task there may be scenarios where the part, uh, the particular role is not correct and you are not seeing the task in idd so this is an important part apart from that if you go to the task there are multiple by in out of box uh, uh, workflows which we have so what you have to make sure is the task type id the task type id is an imp very important part of uh, the configuration which needs to be there so right now the task type id is b must task from where it is getting picked so it is coming from the service definition which i have told earlier so if i go to the active os console and i go to the service definition and uh, okay. 
So if you see here, this the service that task type ID has to be the same name which is there in the service part. So this has to match with the configuration which is there in IDD. So there are certain scenarios where uh, the particular uh, value is not correct and uh, you will not see the task in IDD. So this is one of the other important part which you have to take care. So once you have done the changes, uh, always make sure that you are clearing the cache and you are redeploying the application. And other, another important thing is the B schema. So the B schema from MDM 10.1 onwards, everything is based on the business entity. So you have to make sure that the uh, entry in C repos COC is config is pointing to the correct parameters. So right now, if you see, I have the task config type and I have a blob data. So you have to make sure the blob data contains the correct entry. So if you see right now, it's pointing to AWOS B merge, which is my default uh, by default service name, which is there. So in case if it is pointing to some other parameters, this means something is wrong and you have to regenerate a B schema along with correct parameters in BDD config.xml. So these are the uh, common situation which we have come across. So uh, th these are the important points which you have to check in order to uh, see whether task is visible or, right, or not. So if I click on IDD application, If you see, I have multiple tasks sitting here in start. In case if you want to manage and you want to see all the tasks, there are other way of seeing it from the task manager as well. So you can see my tasks, you can see the, what are the available tasks and other things. So this, uh, so these are the important configuration which uh, I was uh, trying to talk, uh, which I was speaking for this param for this uh, video KB. I uh, hope uh, this will be helpful in your presentation. So, yeah, we would love to hear back from you. In, uh, you can see all the videos uh, which is available from Informatic at support videos at informatic.com. Also, you can give your feedback and uh, Twitter info support. Thanks, everyone. Uh, hope you have enjoyed this video, Kevi.